Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to walk you through my styling routine and the products that I'm using and tell you a little bit more about them. Now, keep in mind, this is only one of the routines that I'm doing and I have many products that I switch or pair different products with each other, depending on, excuse the dog in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doggo sitting. There's another little guy over here. And while we're here, if you have a moment to like this video and click the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future videos, that would really help me out. So thank you for doing that. So keep in mind that all the products that I'm using today might work differently on your hair depending on the type of the hair that you have because your curls might be different from mine and your hair structures. In any case, before we dive in, I just want to quickly run through if you're just starting off and you're like, what the hell do I do with my hair and how do I style it? Really, you only need three things, maybe four, three, four things, depending on how your hair is feeling. Uh, so the first thing that is not 100% necessary, but I advise you to do is use a heat protectant, uh, which I'll be using in the beginning of the video. Do you want to go? Dog moments. She wants to stay. Yeah. So first thing you want to do is use a heat protectant. Uh, I like to use a uh, heat protectant that protects my curls from heat because I diffuse a lot and also the one that protects my curls from UV lights in summer. Second thing you want to use is a uh, leave-in conditioner. That's the one that I mentioned is a maybe because I don't always use leave-in conditioner and sometimes my leave-in conditioner is actually the same thing as my curl cream, which is uh, step number three. You want to use a curl cream to help your uh, curls kind of take that shape and add some moisture to them. So as I mentioned, my curl cream, so a lot of them already have a leave-in conditioner component to it. And the fourth thing is the gel. So you want to seal all that in. You want to kind of, you know, make it that it kind of almost freezes the shape of the curl when it dries. And that's when you break that scrunch in the end. So if you see me doing that scratch motion in the end, I'm breaking that cast from the gel to release those beautiful curls into this world. That was way more dramatic than it had to be. Anyway, without further ado, <laughs> let's dive into my styling routine. All right, so first things first, I wanna make sure that my hair is completely wet. So I'm gonna use my spray bottle to wet my hair before I apply any products. So first thing I'm gonna do is apply Featherlight Protein Cream from Curlsmith. My hair loves protein, so I make sure that at least one of the products during my styling routine has it. You notice that I'm applying this cream throughout my entire hair, not when I section it because my hair is quite fine. So I run a chance of applying too much product if I do that. So I'm gonna brush it off just to make sure that the product gets evenly distributed throughout the hair. Now once that's done, I'm going to section my hair and start styling. I like to section it because I find that that gives me better definition, but you don't have to do that. I don't always do that when I'm short in time. I don't, so it's really not that necessary, but I do find that it makes a difference. So I'm just going to add some more water and I'm going to use my Denman brush to brush my hair away from the scalp. That's very important because that does really make a difference in uh, actually getting that hair off your scalp instead of making it stick. As you can see, it's really hard uh, to actually for me to get my hair off and away from my scalp on the back. It was even harder to do that on the video, <laughs> I must add. Uh, usually I just kind of flip my hair down and I brush a little bit away and it makes it a little bit easier but it was really hard to capture that on the video so i continue styling my hair and taking more sections from top using my demon brush uh, just kind of picking on small sections of my hair and brushing them away from my scalp and then scrunching it up you see that little shaking motion that i do that's just to help my curls to find the natural way that they want to curl which sometimes they know it sometimes they don't <laughs> uh so yeah once that's done i'm gonna lift the hair off the scalp on the back a little bit as i mentioned it's quite hard to get that hair on the back so i make sure that i scrunch that in once that's done i start working on my front and framing pieces now this is where it gets a bit more challenging because those are the pieces that are going to be in the front so i want to make sure that they are nicely shaped so i do brush those away to the side to make sure that they don't go into my face because it really bothers me when my hair is in my face so i try to brush them to the side and that's when i start working on the framing pieces so i like to separate those into little sections and then help them kind of get defined so i either finger curl them uh, or just scrunch them in so you see i'm separating them into small sections uh, to make sure that these curls are going to be defined 
Okay, so I'm pretty, I'm gonna brush them to the side again so it's not in front of my face and then I'm gonna scrunch it in, brush it to the side and then finger curl it and scrunch it in again. This piece, I'm gonna do a uh, actual curl so you can see I start grabbing it on the side and then work my way up and then I fold it down and there you see the nice curl. So the reason I do that, that some of the curls don't always actually know which way they're going, like this guy over here, you can see. <laughs> I'm actually not sure he ended up figuring out which way he wants to go, but anyway, some curls are just special. <laughs> what are you going to do? So I do the same with the other side and I uh, finger curl them, separate them in little sections just to make sure that those curls stay nice and together. Now a little piece of advice, you always want to make sure you listen to your curls and yes that sounds crazy because you, we don't talk to our hair or do we, but you have to feel and see which way your curl want to curl if that makes sense because if you try to force it to go the way that you want it to go, it's not going to happen. So that's why you do this little shaking motion, just see which way it wants to go and then help it go that way if that makes sense. All right, now that we're done with the curl cream, I'm gonna go in with my Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse. And I know I didn't mention this among three or four products that you need for your styling routine, but it's a great product and it works so well on my hair and I recommend you try it too. It adds so much volume and definition to my hair and it's so easy to apply. Uh, it's water-based, so if you go in and apply a little bit too much, it's really not that big of a deal. And I usually just use about <laughs> two pumps there because quite big so just be careful when you do get them out of the bottle uh, but it really does add quite a bit of volume so don't forget to apply some on the front pieces and the back as well because that part often gets forgotten all right and last but not least I'm gonna go in with my dpd do girls with curls gel I love this stuff it smells so great it's kind of like a jelly consistency so it might be a little bit too thick for fine hair which you might be like Karina your hair is fine it is I do mix it with a little bit of water which makes it a little bit more diluted and that works really well for me so if your hair is fine as mine and maybe a little bit thinner you might not want to go with such a thick gel so just add some water and dilute it a little bit so I like to go in with uh, praying hands to cover my hair with gel and then scrunch it in and once I'm done with applying my products I'm gonna take in my microfiber towel and scrunch my hair in with it to remove excess of the product and prepare my hair for diffusing or air drying if that's what you choose to do all right, my curls are nice and shaped and ready to be diffused. I'm gonna be using my Dyson diffuser. You don't have to, any diffuser will work. I'm gonna hover around my hair first to let the curls set their shape and get their form. So I recommend you do not touch your hair and your curls for some time until you feel like they're getting a little bit of a cast. And once you do, you can start scrunching it in not scrunching but kind of like pulling your hair up so to create to kind of create that uh, curl shape and uh, let them shrink a little bit and create some volume I like to start with my front pieces uh, to define them first because they drive faster and then I go into the back and I do a little bit of rotating side to side just to make sure that my hair is not stuck to one side once I feel like my hair is probably 70% dry, I'm gonna apply the bonding oil from Curl Smith. A lot of people apply it once their hair is completely dry. I like to start breaking the cast a little bit and scrunching it in when my hair is about 60 to 70% dry and then continue diffusing to add that volume. So you can see that after that, I continue scrunching it in and diffusing at the same time. I find that that kind of adds me more volume and that works best for my hair. You can also notice that I do a little bit of a root shaking to kind of break that cast and get my hair away from my scalp so that it's not stuck to it. So once I'm done, I do more of a shaking on all sides and even flip my hair upside down. And there we go. Look at those bouncing little framing pieces. So I'm gonna take little clumps and separate those curls. That also is a little trick that adds you more volume. And there you go. This is the result. Uh, usually I do get a bit more volume on day two or three, uh, but I was going more for defined curls uh, in this case, and I'm very happy with the result.
All right, guys, and I'm back. Thank you so much for sticking with me throughout my routine. I hope it was helpful. And if you have any questions about the product or if you like to pair them with something else, do let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.